Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to go through the troubleshooting steps with you on why your roller brush may not be working. And that can be really frustrating and there's a few different things it can be. So uh, before we do uh, you know, any inspection on the vacuum, we wanna make sure the vacuum is both off and unplugged. Um, and once that's done, let's go ahead and take a look at the first troubleshooting step. All right guys, so the first troubleshooting step is on some vacuums, there's an on off button for the roller brush and it may have accidentally gotten pushed down and turned off the roller brush. So this is one of the easier troubleshooting steps to check first if your vacuum does have this option. Um, if you determine that this is not the cause of why your roller brush is uh, you know, not working, we're gonna move on to the next step. But before we do, make sure that you turn your vacuum off and unplug it from the wall again. Um, we're going to have to turn the vacuum on its side so we can gain access to the roller brush. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right guys, so um, I have the vacuum on its side and the next thing that we wanna take a look at is the roller brush here and there's a plate that's uh, covering access to it. And so um, this one has four different screws, uh, one in each of the corners here and we wanna take those out so we can get this plate off. Uh, yours may have screws in different places or it may just be clipped in. So um, let me go ahead and I'm gonna take these screws out and as soon as I'm done, I'll be right back and we'll move on to the next step. All right guys, so I have the screws out of the cover here, so we're just gonna take it off and set it to the side. And the first thing you wanna look at is the roller brush itself. These can get tangled up with hair and all sorts of different things. So you wanna make sure that nothing is in here that's uh, jamming up the roller brush and preventing it from being able to turn. Um, once you've done that, the next thing you wanna look at is the belt here. Um, the belt is what the motor uses to turn the roller brush here. And if you're missing the belt, then you know obviously you know uh, it broke off and that you're going to have to replace the belt. Now, the belt may still be on and may still be an issue, so we wanna inspect it. So to get to the belt, the first thing we need to do is take out the roller brush here. And that's a cap that fell off the side of the roller brush. And I'm just gonna set the roller brush to the side for now. Um, and then uh, the belt here, we can just take off the gear in the back of the motor. Let me get you a closer look at that area. All right guys, there is the gear coming off the motor that spins the belt uh, that spins the roller brush. And in this case, we can just sneak the belt uh, right over the top of the gear here. And let's go ahead and inspect the belt. All right, so when inspecting the belt, you just wanna make sure that the teeth are in good shape and that the belt doesn't have any cracks and is not brittle or falling apart or anything like that. Um, and over time too, the belts can get stretched out and may not fit properly between the motor and the roller brush. And that may be why the roller brush is not spinning properly. Um, if any of these signs are present, uh, just order a replacement belt. Okay, so after you've checked all those things, one of the last things it could potentially be is the roller brush motor itself. And if that's the case, you're going to have to decide if it's something you wanna to try to fix yourself or if you wanna bring it into a vacuum repair place and have them check your vacuum out. So um, let's go ahead and put everything back together so you guys can see how that's done. All right guys, so the first thing we're going to do when we reinstall all this is put the belt back on and this is where you would put your new belt back on um, if you were replacing it. And you just wanna make sure it gets on the gear of the motor properly. Um, the next thing we're going to do is reinstall the um, roller brush here and you wanna make sure that the belt fits over uh, the correct side of the roller brush. And then we're gonna get this reinstalled. And there's just like on this one, there's a little square piece on top of the cap. So you have to make sure that that fits in there uh, correctly. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the cover. And then we will put the screws back in. And just remember that this is plastic, so um, you know you don't wanna over tighten these and uh, strip out the threading on the plastic, so. 
All right, let me finish putting the screws back in and then we'll test the vacuum out and make sure everything's functioning properly and then we'll give a uh, final recap. All right guys, well I hope this video helped you out and figured out what might be going on with why your vacuum's roller brush isn't working. You know, the most likely cause is something going on with the belt that goes between the uh, roller brush motor and the roller brush. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.